Beginning this evening in Batesburg, Leesville, where administrators are telling us that all of the residents displaced in a fire last night at Generations Assisted Living Facility were women. Tonight, we're hearing from three employees who played a key role in the rescue efforts. Uh, my heart dropped because I was like, all these people we got to get out of here. Saturday around 5 p.m., Raven Bletcher and Carenza Williams were prepping for the evening routine at Generation Assisted Living Facility when they heard the fire alarm. Okay, we were just getting ready to serve breakfast, I mean dinner, mm -hmm. and we got all the residents up to the table, then they say, you know, the fire alarm went off. We were running, trying to find people. Me and her were running, trying to find people. We had to call people to come help us. One of those people was Kelly Conyers, another caregiver at the facility. They yeah. called me. I was at a birthday party. Yeah, she came. She wasn't even there. And um, I came and helped them as soon as I just threw my car and parked back here and I just ran in the building. These three women, along with others, were able to help remove all 52 residents from the blaze safely. According to Batesburg Leesville Fire, two people were treated for smoke inhalation at the scene. Kelly and Raven say they were the ones treated. Me and her, you know, when we actually got everybody out here, yeah, they with, passed out. with us being, you know, so much around the smoke, we end up passing out. Several agencies responded to the fire with the Batesburg Leesville Fire Department. Saluda County Fire, Lexington Fire, and Batesburg Leesville Police helped out. The town's fire chief says it's not clear when residents can return. There is some pretty extensive damage in, in the building. There's a lot of smoke damage in the Gen 2 side of it, the back side of the building. The mayor of Batesburg Leesville says it was divine intervention that no one was hurt. Nothing less short of a miracle that no one got hurt. You know, I mean, as far as the residents, um, heroic action of people who work for generations, the staff, and just Batesburg Leesville Fire Department getting here within minutes. The Batesburg Leesville Fire Department says it has not determined a cause of the fire. Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. The facility says residents are in need of clothes and underwear ranging from size 14 to 26 for anyone interested in making a donation.